Welcome to another episode of This Week in Sweden, where I look back at the seven news stories that shaped our lives here in Sweden, starting with Monday. The new CEO of Telesonera, the big phone company, Johan Denelin, said he is excited for the prospect of his new job as CEO for this company, which has been in deep shit after a bribery scandal uh, coming out of Uzbekistan was revealed last year, but he is excited for the future. Tuesday. Puppy smuggling shows no signs of abating. Over 2,000 puppies are illegally brought into Sweden every year, mostly coming out of Eastern Europe. And this is a very lucrative business for these smugglers. And what kind of puppies they bring in, that reflects what's in fashion right now. Wednesday. After not coming in agreement, there was a big bus strike in a large Stockholm area and including the city of Umeå starting Wednesday and it's still undergoing and a lot of buses are not running which makes my plans of getting to the airport uh, tomorrow to fly to Malmö and then fly to London problematic. However, the Free Moderate uh, Student Society had this little funny plan. Let's rent two minibuses and let's keep them going between the two hospitals which is normally run by one of the city lines. Yeah, the buzz people were not happy. Thursday. In an historic first ever genocide trial in Sweden, a man, a Swedish man of Rwandan and Tutu heritage was found guilty of uh, doing really, really bad things back in 94 in Rwanda. Another part that made this trial historic is that parts of it actually took place in Rwanda because they found the idea of flying 40 witnesses to Stockholm a little problematic, so they flew the judges down there, and there's certainly gonna be an appeal, but, you know, it's the first Friday, and we go to the man in the field. Which is Midsummer's Eve, when we dance around the penis shaped pole, and then we pick seven types of flowers, we jump over the fence over here seven times, we dream about the person we're gonna marry, and we eat smelly fish. Saturday. Sweden has won the first battle in the salvation of the moist snuff, a nicotine-based thing you put under your lips, which we produce and use here in Sweden, but which we do not export. And that was the reason that in this first instance, we are still allowed to determine the directives of how to use them. The funny thing is that the people that, you know, were working to save it also are trying to figure out a way to remove it from market because it is nicotine-based, sort of like cigarettes. So it's not, you know, really really good for you but uh, there are still some instances of voting happening in the parliament in you and you know when you're a part of an organization sometimes you have to do what the organization says but sometimes you get away with it anyway sunday and we end with a sunshine story coming out of Östersund in northern Sweden where a man was found on camera ejaculating on top of a bike while holding a picture. And this is not the first time this has happened. And the owner of the bike got tired, so he put a camera up and he caught the man in action doing his thing. And they're now looking at whether there's a connection to a similar event six years ago where 20 bikes in central town were ejaculated on. People have the weirdest tendencies. And that was this episode of This Week in Sweden, where I look back at the seven news stories that shaped our life here in Sweden. If you want to see more of what happened before this, you can look in the playlist. You can also subscribe to this channel to see next week episode, next Monday. And later in the week, there will be a 10 Swedish words uh, episode coming out as well. So thanks for watching. I will see you the next time you click on one of my videos.